Good day to you wherever you're watching from. Today I have a word of encouragement for you and what I've been doing lately to encourage myself is I've been taking out my books, the books that I've written, and I'm picking up bits and pieces to encourage myself in the Lord. And so today comes from your now season and it's the chapter that's called What Do You Do When You Feel Your Grace Is Shaken? And so here's a scripture for you. Psalm 31 verse 8 says, I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have considered my troubles. You have known my soul in adversities and have not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a wide place. And many times when we feel that we're going through something, um, we feel as if we've been shut up into the hand of the enemy. And I want to say to you today that that is never God's plan. It's not how he works. He wants to deliver you out of that and set your feet in a wide place, a place where you are established, where you are secure, knowing he's with you, where you have joy, where you have peace. And so um, here's something else I want to read to you. Um, Hebrews 12, 12 to 13. Therefore, strengthen the hands which hang down and the feeble knees and make straight paths for your feet so that what is lame may not be dislocated, but rather be healed. Hebrews 12, 12 and 13. You know what happens when you go through something, when you feel shaken by something that has happened or you feel that you've lost your, your faith? Because it happens to all of us at some point. We've, we almost feel as if we've been dislocated from our position. We've been taken out of the position that we once had. We, we, all our faith was in God and we were excited about what he said. And then the opposite, opposition came and we were dislocated. And so, you know what happens when you have a dislocated shoulder or some part of your body, maybe a finger, um, gets, it gets out of joint. It becomes out of joint. And it's so easy for, for you and I, when we feel that we shut up into the hand of the enemy, that we're praying and nothing is happening, that our faith is out there, but we feel a little bit disappointed because things have gone the other way around. And if we stay in that place, we begin to blame God, we begin to blame other people, we begin to look inward and we stay there, we actually become dislocated from our purpose. We, we're still there. But we can't function properly. It's like having a dislocated shoulder. Your arm is still there. Your arm has not been taken off. But it can't function the way an arm is meant to function because it's not in the right position. And it has to be put back into place for it to function. And so today I want to say to you, maybe you're feeling dislocated. And I want to put you back into place. And I want to say that's why God says, the scriptures say in Hebrews 12, strengthen the hands which hang down and the feeble knees. And I want to encourage you, if you feel as if your hands are hanging down, you can't lift them up and worship anymore. That's the best time to worship. When you least feel like doing that, when you don't feel like praising God and you say, but I, I have the right to feel sorry for myself, that's the best time to praise God. And the feeble knees, when you feel as if you can't walk anymore, I want to, I want to say, Make straight paths for your feet. Begin to get your eyes back on the, on the purpose. Get your eyes back on Jesus. And say, I'm not going to listen to the lies of the enemy. I will not be dislocated in the season. When you feel shaken, it distracts you from the power of releasing heaven's answers over your life, your family, your nation. We need to get hold of the supernatural weapons that we have and deal with the arguments against the purposes of God. So don't, when you feel shaken, don't allow yourself to be so dislocated that you forget that you've got the power in your mouth. When God has given you a promise and you have the scriptures, the power is in your mouth to do a supernatural warfare. Because we, not, we don't fight against flesh and blood. It's a supernatural warfare, a spiritual warfare that we're doing. And we have the power to decree and declare the purposes of God. 2 Corinthians 10, 4-5 For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty. Remember that. Mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. It's those strongholds and casting down arguments, those strongholds and arguments that are making you feel dislocated or maybe someone you're praying for. They feel hopeless, discouraged, dislocated from their purpose. They're seeing everybody else get blessed. They're seeing everybody else get answers to prayers. They're seeing everybody else ministering to and having a great time and they still feel like they're standing there and they've become dislocated because of circumstances. 
And it says here, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Isaiah 55, 1 to 3. Listen carefully to me. This is God speaking. And eat what is good. Don't eat the rubbish out there. Don't eat. Don't feed yourself on the lies of the enemy. Or you will remain dislocated. Eat what is good. And let your soul delight itself in abundance. Incline your ear and come to me. It's an invitation from God himself. Hear and your soul shall live. Hearing makes us come alive. And so today I pray for you that if you are in the place feeling dislocated, feeling broken, um, feeling disgruntled and discouraged, get yourself located again by hearing what God has to say, by getting out the weapons of your warfare and casting down arguments and things that exalt themselves above the name of Jesus, because that's where our power lies in the name of Jesus. So don't be shaken today. Don't have hands that hang down and knees that feel feeble. Feeble knees are knees that are shaky. Um, and you can't walk um, victoriously when you have shaky knees. You can't worship God when your hands are left hanging down. And so pick yourself up today. Rise up today and walk in the power that is in your mouth. And get yourself back into position today and make a declaration over your own life and say, I will not be shaken today. God is for me. The word of God reminds you of who you are. So get into the word of God and say to, say to yourself, why so downcast? Oh, my soul, put your hope in God. He will never let you down. He will never shut you up into the hand of the enemy. And he will set your feet in a wide place. Psalm 31 verse 8. So be encouraged with that today.